Hi, hello and welcome. This is A. Charvulata from St. Paul's Changalpat. In this module, we are going to see about the income and expenditure, the steps and the need for the preparation of income and expenditure in 12th standard unit 2 not-for-profit organization. Let me tell you um, how to prepare the income and expenditure account in the not-for-profit organization. Already we have seen about receipts and payments account, the need for the receipts and payment account and also the steps to prepare the receipts and payment account. Uh, in, in the case of uh, trading organization, uh, preparation of final accounts may be for trading account, p and account and the balance sheet. But in the case of not-for-profit organization, the final accounts include the um, receipts and payment, income and expenditure and finally the balance sheet. Already we saw about the receipts and payment account. In this module, we are going to see about the income and expenditure account. This income and expenditure account is similar to profit and loss account. In sense, in the debit side, we will record all the expenses and in the credit side, we will be recording the all the incomes. That is, this is a nominal account in nature. Where the revenue expenses and revenue incomes are only taken, that is, in the income and expenditure account, we have to take into the consideration only the revenue expenses and the revenue incomes. That is, we should exclude the capital expenses and capital incomes. Okay. In the same way, and the amounts pertaining to the previous year or next year should not be taken. Only the amount pertaining to the current year alone should be taken into the account. And the balancing amount is called either surplus or deficit. If the income side exceeds the expenditure, then the difference is surplus. But if the expenditure side exceeds the income, the difference is said to be deficit. Not for a profit organization, though it is not working for the profit, it would like to know the net result at the end of the year. And they wanted to know whether the income exceeds the expenditure or the expenditure exceeds the income. As I said, this is like a profit and loss account, but the difference amount is not termed as a net profit or net loss. The net result is termed as surplus or deficit. And the preparation of the income and expenditure is a legal requirement. It has to be prepared and it should be submitted. And the preparation of income and expenditure account helps the organization, the not-for-profit organization, to control their expenses. Now, we are going to see the steps in preparation of income and expenditure account. In the preparation of income and expenditure, as I said, this is like a profit and loss account. The debit side will be the expenses and the credit side will be the income. For preparing the income and expenditure, the opening and the closing balance of the cash and the bank should be excluded. That is, it should not be shown in the income and expenditure account. Because in the receipts and payment account, we start with opening balance and closing balance. Whereas, in income and expenditure, the opening and the closing balance of the cash and bank should be excluded. The another thing which is, should be excluded is, capital receipts and the capital expenditure in the same in the same module i will tell you what are all the capital receipts and capital expenditure we will discuss at the end of this module only so if the capital expenditures and capital receipts are excluded it means that we have to uh, record only the revenue receipts and the revenue expenditure and also the revenue receipts and revenue expenses for the current year alone should be taken. We should exclude the previous year or the subsequent year. At the same time, the due adjustment should be made for the income received in the advance or income accrued for the current year and, and the amount for relating to the previous year. 
and this all should be shown in the credit side of the income and expenditure after making the adjustments and in the same way the due adjustment should be made for outstanding expenses for the previous year current year and prepaid expenses of the previous year and current year income and expenses relating to the specific fund should be excluded so from the beginning we have seen three items that should be excluded while preparing the income and expenditure what are they first one we should exclude the opening and the closing balance of the cash in the bank and capital receipts and capital expenditure should be excluded and the income and expenses relating to the specific fund should be excluded these are the items which should be excluded and then non cash items like bad debts depreciation loss on uh, gain on sale of the assets must be recorded in income and expenditure which means we are not recording the non cash items in the receipts and payment account but we have to record it in the income and expenditure account and the balancing figure of the income and expenditure may be either surplus or deficit and it should be transferred to the capital fund and it should be recorded in the balance sheet i have been telling that the capital receipts and the capital expenditure should be excluded let me tell you what is the capital uh, what is the difference between the capital and the revenue expenditure and the receipts and what are all the capital expenditure and receipts which should be excluded in the while preparing the income and expenditure account so in order to maintain a detailed and a systematic record of the business transaction we have to uh, we, we need uh, two fold items has to be done for what purpose we are maintaining the record of the business transaction first one is to ascertain the net result of the trading activity of an accounting year and the second item is to ascertain the financial portion of the business at the end of the accounting year so this may be either for the trading activity or for the non trading activity which i mean either it is for the trading organization or for not for profit organization this is a must this is a mandatory so in order to get a systematic record of the business transaction the purpose of maintaining the record to ascertain the uh, net result of the business and also to know the financial position of the business at the end of the accounting year so we are preparing in the not for profit organization we are preparing income statement uh, sorry in the trading organization we prepare the income statement called the profit and loss account for ascertaining the net result and also the position statement balance sheet for ascertaining the financial position so this p and l account and the balance sheet together is called as a final accounts for the trading organization whereas income and expenditure account and the balance sheet together form the final accounts for the not for profit organization as per the rules items of the revenue nature is shown in the income and expenditure account and items of capital nature is shown in the balance sheet whether an item will appear in the income and expenditure account or the balance sheet depends upon the revenue and capital nature of the items if any item is wrongly classified then the ascertainment of the profit will be incorrect see whether we have to put an item in the income and expenditure account or the balance sheet depends upon whether it is a revenue or capital nature supposing we as per the rules the revenue items alone should be recorded in the income and expenditure account but by mistake by wrongly if we post it in the post the capital items in the income and expenditure account then it will be difficult for us to ascertain the profit at the end of the accounting year so the final accounts will not reflect the true and fair view of the affairs of the business so wrong classification will lead to the wrong ascertainment that is the reason why we are telling for the preparation of the income and expenditure account 
capital expenses and the capital expenditure and the capital receipts should be in excluded only the revenue items should be taken this is the reason why i am telling every time in the preparation of the income and expenditure account capital items should be excluded now i will tell you what are all the capital uh, expenditure and capital receipts which should be excluded while preparing the income and expenditure account rest all will come under the revenue receipts and uh, expenditure which should be shown in the income and expenditure we will just go through what should be excluded let me be clear with that items relating to the capital receipts and the capital expenditure must be excluded in the income and expenditure account as i said earlier now tell me uh, regarding the capital expenditure and the uh, revenue uh, expenses so in the in our uh, daily routine or uh, in our day to day life we consume uh, we buy the food items uh, like um, or uh, consumables some are durables uh, like uh, food items stationeries and all okay so the benefit of the expenditure like the consumer consumable like stationery cosmetics etc it is derived over a short period of time but in the case of the durables like the if we purchase a furniture or utensils or ac or washing machine the benefit spreads over the number of years the same thing is true in the business also in the business we incur the expenditure in two items one is revenue items that is like stationery postage repairs salaries etc and the benefit of this will be available for the short period whereas and the other item is fixed asset if we purchase for the business machinery building furniture etc the benefit of which will be available for number of years so the first is termed as a revenue expenditure and the fixed asset is called a capital expenditure okay if you are buying a xerox machine in order we are starting the business it is said to be the fixed asset and it is a capital expenditure and if we are making any or uh, filling the toner or filling the cartridge for the same xerox machine it is said to be the revenue expenditure this is a simple example for finding out which is a capital expenditure and the revenue expenditure if you are investing to buy a xerox machine for your business it is said to be a capital expenditure and if you are refilling the toner or the cartridge or if you are making any repairs or if you have appointed any person to run the business you are paying the salary or the wages to that person then all that comes under the revenue expenditure now you are clear with the revenue expenditure and the capital expenditure i have told you that the revenue items should be included in the income and expenditure capital items should be excluded so what are all the items should be excluded alone i have given here so that it will be easy for them for us to prepare the income and expenditure account capital expenditure as i said earlier if you are purchasing any fixed asset and if you are purchasing a sports equipment or if you are purchasing the books for the library because we are preparing the income and expenditure for not for profit organization so if we are purchasing any furniture Uh, it is said to be a capital expenditure here you have mentioned the sports equipment supposing if it is a sports club if they are build uh, building a billiard table or they are purchasing the some sports equipments it is said to be a capital expenditure but if we are purchasing the balls and bats then it is said to be a revenue expenditure so the which are available for the long period of time is said to be the capital expenditure in the same way if you are purchasing any asset for a specific purpose it is said to be a capital expenditure here the example purchase of the books for the library it is a club it is a library so it it is a capital expenditure so we have to see what type of organization is it and based on that we have to see 
whether it is a capital or revenue okay since it is a not for profit organization we are dealing with the educational or the sports or the library institutions so these are all the items which are meant for the capital expenditure which should be excluded in the income and expenditure account now coming to the capital receipts capital receipts see life membership fees if any member is joining in the club or in the association or in the library he have to be uh, the institution will collect the fees and they wanted to pay for the whole life then it is said to be a life membership fees it is a income it is a receipt so it is said to be once in a time it is non recurring in nature so it comes under the capital receipts legacies as i said earlier it is a will written by someone and given to the charitable institutions so it is said to be a capital receipt here we have to see three points specific donations special funds and then government grant for specific purpose so any donation for specific purpose that is donation for prize donation for um, some particular reason uh, only for prize distribution or only for conducting the match then it is said to be the capital receipt and then specific fund special fund maybe it is a tournament fund match fund or a prize fund or a science equipment fund like that if there is any specific fund mentioned then it comes under the capital receipt and government grant if the government gives a loan for the specific purpose for purchasing the book for if it is a library for purchasing the sports equipment if it is a sports club then it is said to be the capital receipt and also if any investment is made in the bank or any other uh, institutions then it is also said to be the capital receipts so make sure with these items which will not be entered in the income and expenditure account if it this is excluded then rest will be have to show it in the income and expenditure account hope you are clear with this in the next module we will go for the sums thank you